Good afternoon, everyone. Turning into a better afternoon perhaps than this morning was, especially if you don't like that rain. It's coming to an end. Temperatures have cooled off since this morning as well for most of us. We have some 30s in the Adirondacks, 44 now in Burlington, 46 Plattsburgh, and they might rise a couple more degrees. But certainly uh, we have the rain, of course, which is making it for a very damp end of the work week. Fewer showers than we had this morning, a little tiny band of some lighter rain and even some snow in the higher elevations now passing through Essex County, Addison, Rutland counties. Um, this is moving to the east and to the northeast as well. Earlier, we had a little bit of snow showing up in the northeast kingdom and in the Adirondacks. Again, this rain is thanks to a cold front. You can see the line that that's creating. As some of that cooler air does start to move in, especially above 2,000 feet or so, that's why you're going to get a little bit of that snow on the tail end of this. Because of the rain, we're watching our flooding concerns. So far, so good for the Osable River. This is an Osable Forest, but we are watching those typical flooding spots that do happen, that does happen in the springtime. The Lamoille River, Winooski River, Otter Creek. Some of those are getting a little bit higher on the gauges. I've been keeping an eye on them, but nothing too bad just yet. That will likely change a little bit this afternoon with some of that minor flooding, certainly possible. After all that rain that we had, plus the snow melt from the warmer temperatures, and the ground is really, really saturated for this. So there's not a lot of places for that rain and water to go. Uh, so of course the rain from this morning and our flooding concerns, which is why that nuisance icon is in effect for the rest of the day here. 48 or so by this afternoon, but the clouds and certainly the northerly wind that's light will keep our temperatures from warming up a whole lot. Overnight tonight as that front clears, we've got a clearing trend. So starting to see a, the clouds break up a little bit, maybe even a little bit of sun before that sets later tonight, but it's going to be a quiet night as wind sticks around five to 10 miles per hour and temperatures dip to near 30 which is pretty seasonable for this time of year. Here are those showers again, fewer and fewer as the day goes on. We've got again a chance at a little bit of sun later in the day. I know I saw a little peaks of that sun uh, earlier this morning and more and more of that clear up as we ha head into the overnight hours. Saturday looks great. You've got some clouds moving in in the evening and that is ahead of our next shot at rain, which arrives late on Saturday and into early Sunday for Easter morning. You're going to find some snow in the higher elevations and some valley rain. As we move through the overnight hours and into early sat Sunday, you're going to see obviously it's not a whole lot. So roads shouldn't be too bad. Yes, you might find some slick spots in the higher elevations, but overall travel isn't going to be too big of an issue for the holiday. And actually we'll see some sunshine for the afternoon on Sunday. Doesn't quite mean it's going to be that great of a day. As you can see, we're clearing up a little bit, but we've got a cold front that's prompting those showers in the first part of your Sunday, and that is going to bring a definite cool down. So Saturday is absolutely the gem of the weekend. We're going to have some sun, but more clouds filling out in the afternoon. Highs up near 30 or up near 50 still. So a beautiful start to the weekend. Sunday highs will struggle to get above 40. It's going to be windy. It'll make that 40 degree air feel even a little bit cooler, even despite some sun that'll try to come out in the afternoon. So it's 50 50 on the weekend. Saturday is the better day. Sunday, not bad uh, with a couple of those showers winding down pretty quickly in the morning. Monday, cool, but still dry. Might even get some sunshine out there. Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, we'll find some showers creeping in. That'll be mixed showers and they'll most likely the heaviest of it fall overnight Tuesday and into early Wednesday. As you can see, temperatures will remain below average through that time.